Before the host, Snowpiercer or Parasite, Bong Joon-ho had another film that was just nigh better than all of the above. A little yarn called Memories of Murder. Let's talk about it. The reason Memories of Murder is being talked about today is because of Gregory Coburn, a Patreon at the Mithril level. You too can become a Patreon, request a movie at that level, and I have to review it and give you a shout out. It's a sweet deal. Sometimes, for everyone involved. Because in this instance, the movie was great, and I had never seen nor heard of it before. I'm a movie guy! So please think about checking me out on Patreon and subscribing to the channel as I post tons of movie content each and every week. Memories of Murder came out in 2003. It's a foreign film, it's rated R, it's over two hours long, and it's worth your time to watch. I don't think it's available on any streaming services you probably pay for right now. I had to rent it off Amazon Prime. Yeah, that cut into my numbers that I got on Patreon, but it was worth it, okay? It was worth the investment, the couple bucks for renting it. I want to watch it again. Here's the deal, I'm a massive fan of David Fincher as a director. He's done some of my favorite movies, Seven, Zodiac, and Memories of Murder is right up there. It fits in that same molding. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't take a little inspiration from those materials. It's also loosely based on true events that happened in that time period, which is the mid 80s in this case, in a small village in Korea. You have two detectives from different walks of life. The one that's been there for a long time, he's seen a lot of the tricks, he performs a lot of his own acts, some of them questionable at best, whether they're legal. They're often not. But then you have the young rookie who's hungry, coming over here from a different location, ready to solve these murders that are taking place. Young women being raped and left for dead, often in ditches, discarded, like nothing more than dead animals. Now this is a slow paced film, there's not lots of action outside of a flying kick here and there, which is incredibly funny and out of place. I like Every time one of the agents flying kicks from across the room like he's in a Street Fighter game, knocking the person clear in the chest and throwing them to the floor, I, 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 I chuckle a little. The movie's also kind of a dark comedy. It, it knows what it's doing. And as the film unfolds, these characters that you hated at the beginning, or maybe really liked, will kind of flip. They'll start to break down. They'll start to get chipped away at and go against their better instincts. It is really a fun, interesting watch. And, and by fun, I don't mean like, oh, yay, women are getting raped and left for dead. No, fun as in, I just dig the mystery. I dig the haunting vibes. The atmosphere is fantastic. The cinematography is on point. It's very rainy, again like Seven. Where it plays in a Zodiac more is in the psyche of our two leads. How they're constantly at odds with this killer, getting on each other's nerves, and they're always one or two steps behind where this guy is going. I also dig this ending. I really dig the ending, and I'm gonna leave it there, okay? But it's right up my alley. If you haven't seen Memories of Murder, which I'm sure a lot of people haven't, please check it out. I highly encourage it. Gregory, Booby, thank you for the recommendation. I know this isn't like the longest review, but it's not about the length, as I tell my wife once in a while, very seldom at this point. But it's not about the length. It's, it's what you do with the material. It's what you do with the time, you know? And sometimes that's not even great. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Check this movie out. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope you dig the new setup. We're still tweaking things, but I'm pretty happy with where it's at. And hopefully we can see more of it going forward, right? Take care.